$50, actually below $50, $49 true wireless earbuds with IPX7, 30 plus hours of battery, and they sound good? What? This is ear fun. They make that apparently. It's true wireless connection, superior sound, wireless charging, type C port. So you get wireless charging, type C, we're moving into 2020, thank God. IPX7 waterproofing, which is crazy. Voice assistance through touching the button and getting your own voice assistance from your phone. Ergonomic fit. Um, so yeah, you get three different sizes, small, regular, and large. Type-C cable, you actually get the cable with it, charging cable. Uh, user manuals in here, and then you also get the headsets themselves. But let's just take a looky-loo. There's not much inside the packaging. This is the packaging. So you can see where they save a lot of money here on the packaging. And I'm not knocking them. I, I don't really care. But you get some literature there. Um, you get a really cheap little cardboard paper housing for the earbuds. And here they are on a tiny strip of plastic. Uh, that's funny. Uh, everybody else goes through all this work of showcasing their earbuds and fans and everything else and they just slap them in a super thin paper uh, cardboard thingy and shove them in here which is great because I don't care give me give me some good sound uh, comfort all that kind of stuff and we'll call it a day so here are the earbuds themselves uh, one thing I will say is the plastic does feel pretty cheap uh, compared to um, everything else the Jabra's the Soundcore Liberty 2 Pros um, everything else feels cheap. The hinge, the door. It's magnetic though, so I don't think this is going to come open magically on its own. You do get a battery notification right at the opening of it. And there's four lights, so you know there's 25% increments. Great. Love the four lights. Earfun branded across the top. Flat spot free wireless charging. USB type C port on the back. And in there they are housed inside. Pretty cool, right? Well, getting them out, the plastic on the earbuds, for me, are pretty slick. And I found myself fumbling around trying to get those things out of the, their little charging case. So, one thing to note in their future model, um, make it a little grippy around the edges there, if you don't mind. And that will help me be able to get this out and not drop it. Because I feel like I am going to drop it and I have to baby it. Because it does magnetize itself into there to charge, which I love doing. The Jabra 65Ts do not. They just kind of sit in there. Um, I wish they did magnetize in there, so that's a good plus. Uh, they're labeled, clearly labeled right and left, so you know which one uh, you're talking about. And you got your little contact points in there for your charging. Uh, but these things feel, surprise me, they're actually pretty comfortable given that there's no fans, there's no anything. It just kind of sits... Um, it just kind of sits in your ear like that, just like straight up and down, just right in there and just fits into that little ear pocket that you have. So they do connect right away when you open the casing or take them out of the casing and they shut off right when you put them in there. I don't know if I mentioned that, but they do. Uh, on the left earbud, you've got one time play and pause, two time for volume down. So each time you press it twice, your volume three times will go back a track. So once, play pause, two times, volume down, three is reverse the track. On the right earbud, which is kind of progressing forward, if you think right, forward, left, back, I guess. Um, one time, play pause, two time, volume up, three time, volume, or track, forward. Okay, so during Free Voice Assistant, you just hold the right or left two seconds. Uh, then you'll be prompted from Siri or Google Assistant or whatever uh, to give some commands. Um, you can power these things off if you had to. You hold them down for like five seconds, I think, each individual earbud. If you want to power those down, you can listen out of one. So that's cool. Uh, and for hands-free conversations, one click to answer or hang up. Uh, two clicks to change between another caller and two seconds 
to cancel the, the call to turn that joker off or something like that or mute it. I think it's mute it is what that is. So a little bit of clicks to remember, you know, but you can kind of do everything you need to do from it, which is cool. You can't really do that through some other true wireless headsets. So uh, bravo. I do think that these were like a Kickstarter or Indiegogo or something like that to begin with. And I think they're... Our, we're pushing the wireless charging type C, true wireless, off or under, whatever. And this is the revised version that you can buy now that anybody can buy for 49 bucks or so on Amazon. I'll leave a link to that down in the description. Um, but yeah, you know, the sound. How does it sound? That matters. And it sounds pretty good for 50 bucks. I don't have an issue with it. The battery life's great. All the future updates that you would want or upgrades to things are on here, the wireless and the type C. Uh, that's all cool. Um, if you do, if you do not like the sound on these, it's very easy to change the EQ. There's no app or anything like that. You can download some EQ apps that allow you to uh, control your Bluetooth. But a lot of times they're in your phone already. Like for me, it's in mine. So if I go to sound in my uh, settings, uh, I can actually go down to so uh, sound quality and effects and I can go to equalizer and then I have all these different equalize options, even custom equalizers. So um, I can do anything I want to make these sound just as good as I want them to, really. And I can balance out from the left and right ear. I mean, there's all kinds of things that I can do. And yeah, that may be something specific to uh, LG because this is the V50. Um, yes, the V50, thank you. Something like that. Anyway, it's a great phone. It's got uh, the three lenses and everything. Highly recommend that. But yeah, you know, bottom line, they sound really good for the price. For 49 bucks, they sound excellent. And then also you get the IPX7, you get the USB Type-C, you get the wireless charging, you get a flimsy case. I wish the earbuds were grippier, had some kind of more of a grippy feel to them because they will slip out of your hands when you're trying to get them out of the case. The fit in the ear is not bad. I don't think you can do anything athletic in them. I don't think you can swim in them like is in the photo that they have or something. I guess it's showing that the IPX7 you could if you wanted to. I don't think you're really going to mow the yard with these. I don't think you're going to do anything super duper physical because they'll pop out of your ear because I had that happen. And uh, But for just listening around the house and stuff like that, it doesn't have the pass-through audio because um, it doesn't have an app to control that. But sometimes you can control those things from the actual buds themselves. So if they could have four taps and then you could turn on uh, the uh, monitor, the sound monitoring uh, option or whatever for around you, uh, that would have been great. I, I highly recommend that all the true wireless companies add that feature because it's just such a safety feature and it allows parents like myself, whenever nappy time hits for the kiddos, I might could listen to something and not disturb them and be able to hear them perfectly clear if they wake up. So that's a huge plus if all companies can add that to their arsenal. Is it really that difficult? Go check them out, 49 bucks, and maybe they'll offer a sale, you know, Amazon Prime Days, holiday sales, Memorial Day sales. I mean, who knows, 4th of July, they could offer a five or 10% off sale. And if that's the case, grab them. They're pretty nice to throw around. The case is pretty small. Uh, make sure to explode on that subscribe button and ding that down so you get notified on the next thing that we all review and we just love doing those things. See ya.